Hello and good morning friends, it's another beautiful day. Let's go ahead and get our day started. I want you to stand up, put your hand over your heart, and we're gonna say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now to the side. I am somebody, I will succeed. In school and life, I will achieve. Let's join together to work and share. Let's show the world we care. At Woodbridge ECEC, we are a team. At Woodbridge ECEC, we will reach our dreams. Okay, so friends, what's the name of our new month? It is June. It is June. Good job. So let's go ahead and find out what today is. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay, friends. So yesterday was t Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, and tomorrow will be th Thursday. Good job. All right, so let's count to find out the date. One, two, three. Perfect. So today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. All right, weather watchers, I need you to go check the weather outside today. So go check your window. I'm going to count back from 10, and then we're going to review. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right, friends, what did you see outside? Was it raining or snowing? Nope, no precipitation, nothing coming out of the sky. Is it so cloudy that you can't see the sun at all? No, not so much. Um, let's see, what about... I think it's probably going to be a little bit cloudy and a little bit sunny today. All right, let's go ahead and count. Let's practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now let's count back. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Nice job, friends. Okie dokie, let us not forget about the counting song, practicing counting to 100, so that when you go to kindergarten, you're just blowing those kindergarten teachers' minds about how high that you can count, all right? Numbers this week. Sorry, you couldn't even see my face when I made the big mind-blown moment. Um, our numbers this week are seven and eight. So if you remember correctly, we use that little line across and big line down to make seven. So let's do it together. Start at the top, little line across, big line down. What number is that? Seven. Good job. Start at the top. Little line across, big line down. What's that number? Seven. That is seven. And our other number this week is the number eight. If you remember correctly, let's fix this real quick. There. That's better. Okay. Eight. We start at the top and we Make an S and close the gate. That's the way we make an eight. So let's try it again. Start at the top. Make an S and close the gate. That's the way we make an eight. That's an eight. Now don't forget the number video, the writing number, writing numbers video is in the show more. It is actually super helpful for practicing how to write um, certain numbers. So uh, numbers 
zero through nine. So we need to make sure that you're reviewing that so that you're ready when the time comes. All right, the nursery rhyme this week is Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Cute video for Little Miss Muffet below. Our music for this week, as you know, is still There was a crocodile and a orangutan. Yep, and the cat came back. Super fun songs. Today I'm going to read you a story called Swimmy. So we're going to read about Swimmy today. All right, there we go. Swimmy by Leo Leone. So we're going to identify what is the problem here and how did he solve it. Okay, so Swimmy by Leo Leone. If it's just by him, that means he both, he was both the author and illustrator. And the author does what? Writes the words. And the illustrator draws or makes the pictures. So Swimmy by Leo Leone. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves and in one gulp he swallowed all the little red fish, and only Swimmy escaped. Look, oh, there he is. How sad. He swam away in the deep wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. Why is he scared, lonely, and sad? Right, because the tuna fish the tuna fish ate all of his family and friends. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures. Well, that's an optimistic way to look at things. And as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a medusa made of rainbow jellyfish. A lobster who walked about like a water-moving machine. Has anybody here ever eaten lobster for dinner? Mm -hmm. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. Is invisible thread a real thing? Not to our knowledge. But to fish, when we go fishing and we throw out our lures, those little things on the end of the fishing line, they look like they're swimming through the water with an invisible string attached to them because the, the fishing line doesn't look like anything when it's in water. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. Do you think these are really made out of sugar candy, the rocks in the ocean? No, but they sure look like sugar candy. That was a good description the author wrote. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. And sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish, just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must Think of something. What do you think they're going to do? What would you do if you were scared? Let's find out. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. And then suddenly he said, I have it. We're going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, Look, 
I'll be the I. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun, and they actually chased the big fish away. The end. So that's a story called Swimmy. What was the problem they had? What happened to Swimmy's family? They were eaten by a big fish, yep. And then the friends, he, he swam all over the ocean and he found some more family and friends. And they said that they were scared. What were they scared of? The big fish. So they had, had, they had to come up with an idea of what they were going to do. So what did they decide they were going to do? Yeah, they were going to all join together and make it look like they're one big fish and swim around the ocean, right? Yeah. Alrighty, friends. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I miss you guys. I love you. And I can't wait to see you so soon.